What happens when you drop a robot into a tank of real fish? This is robot fish. Today we're testing four robot fish and two robot turtle and see how real fish react to them. Here is what's going weird. Stay tuned. Before we meet the real fish, let's start with robot fish aquarium combo. This comes with four robot fish, two robot turtles, a tank, and a castle. So let's start decorating our tank. Before we mix them with real fish, let's see how they move. Each robot fish has a water sensor, a motor, and a soft tail that mimicking the realistic swimming. The, the robot turtle is actually so cute. Um, it's just like moving like a real turtle on the on the on the on the, on the floor. Like it actually moves forward. I like it. They even change color based on temperature. What's this? This color change uh, function is actually so hard to see it. You have to use ice cube and to rub around the body of the fish and it will turn blue. Um, so you can see it like the color change is very small, but it does change. No wonder a lot of people complain why the color change doesn't happen to their fish. If you just drop the robot fish into normal temperature water, the color doesn't change. This is why. First up, robot fish meets nine real goldfish. They swim in schools. So how will they react to robot intruder? Um, interesting enough, those goldies are not even afraid of robot fish. They actually play together and like swing by each other very gently. They're not scared. That actually surprised me. Look at like this robot fish is literally just bumping everywhere. And Goldie are so polite. They just let them way out. Let them go. Let robo fish go first. Aww, they're so nice. By the way, the two robo turtles you can see floating on the top of screen, they never go down. I kind of like the robot fish more because they actually dive and making that like a realistic movement. Next up is our beta fish. As you may know, beta fish is famous for its territorial and aggressiveness. So this guy lives alone. What would happen if we introduce a robot fish into his space? Ta-da! I think the robot fish is too big. It actually like uh, <laughs> scared the beta fish. Oh, the ew, he tried to get to know the new friend. Oh my god! Wow, are they just talking? Oh 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 oh! Not really. It's like this big guy is is scary. Oh, uh, let me go 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 go! Ah, I'm leaving. Bye. We also tested another toy, swimming axolotl. And here is how they compare in startup speed, swimming motion, and realism. The axolotl actually looks really cute, it's pinky. Basically it works like the, those robo fish. The only issue is, just like the turtle, this thing does not go down. The axolotl only likes floating on the top. The only time it's down at the base is because it got stuck. So I actually have to save him. So what do you think? Would you replace a real fish with a robot one? Let me know in the comments.